It's Tuesday, April 5th, and welcome to The Lunch Crunch. I'm your host, Vicki Eisenstein. There has been suspicious activity at a North Korean nuclear site where satellite imagery has shown exhaust plumes. North Korean media had this to say. North Korea, everything sunny all the time, always good time, beach party. On Monday, the Supreme Court voted in favor of the one person, one vote practice. The ruling comes just in time for the 2016 election, or as John Kasich is calling it, that national embarrassment I continue to subject myself to. The co-founders of Ben & Jerry's were handing out free scoops of their Bernie Sanders inspired ice cream flavor, which tastes pretty good until it's being shoved down your throat. A massive info leak known as the Panama Papers gives information on the secret accounts held by world leaders and not your 7th grade geography homework. Eric Bowersfield, who was the voice of Admiral Akbar from Star Wars, has died at the age of 93. His caretaker was concerned when he collapsed on the floor, but he assured her that it's a nap! The WWE's annual event, WrestleMania, took place on Sunday. Doctors advise that if you are experiencing symptoms of WrestleMania, go ahead and take two jabronis and call them in the morning. Rob Kardashian is reportedly engaged to Black China, who is baby mama to Tyga, who is dating Kylie, making the Kardashian family tree more confusing and incestuous than medieval European royalty. The company Mezco Toys has announced that they will be making a talking Chucky doll, which will retail for $94. The nightmares are free. There's a man who spent over a year and $51,000 to build a robot that looks like Scarlett Johansson. Again, the nightmares are free. A California man escaped from an SUV that was dangling from a cliff only to be hit by a bus. Authorities have released this picture of the victim. Yesterday I hosted the hashtag game, hashtag if I could change one thing, using the Lunch Crunch's Twitter account, at Lunch Crunch News. Go ahead and follow it if you haven't already. The hashtag trended at number 5 in the US and in Canada. And here are 5 of the best tweets. At the Clover tweets, if I could change one thing, I would change my underwear. Once a month just isn't cutting it. At Mentally Race tweets, if I could change one thing, I would rearrange the alphabet so you and I could be next to each other. Then I could stab you easier. At View From My Office tweets, if I could change one thing, I wish I had better lighting on this shot. He wrote lightning, but I think he meant lighting. At Guapo Flames tweets, if I could change one thing, it would be a light bulb, but it would have to be willing to change. And at Jeff Leeson tweeted, if I could change one thing, my therapist would be impressed. That's the top five tweets from the game. Thank you so much for playing. And one final announcement, because of how much time and effort this show takes in such a short turnaround, I'm actually going to be reducing the schedule so that this is a weekly show that occurs on Tuesdays. So you can still tune in on Tuesday at lunchtime, at least lunchtime if you're in the US, or if you eat lunch. Do you eat lunch? You probably eat lunch. Most people eat lunch. Do hobbits eat lunch? They probably eat like four lunches. Anyway, I love this show and it's not going anywhere. It's just too hard to be able to produce it two times a week given that this isn't my actual job. Last but not least, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with who you know will like it, and definitely make sure you clicked that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.